So this is the sultry makeup look that I really wanted to create. Something that's really good for summer or for winter or just those nights that you just want to have something a bit more glamorous for a date night. But it's still pretty approachable. I feel pretty approachable, maybe. So stick around if you want to see how to do this look. Step one, as always, I'm starting off with my Chi Chi Insta Prime. Ugh, looks like I'm gonna be needing some more of this. Honestly, this just smooths over my pores so well. I love it to bits. Now we're using Illuminaire Foundation. This is the mattifying formula in the color Porcelain. So I'm using around about this much. Then I'm taking my Sigma Round Kabuki F82 brush. Just going to take a tiny bit more of this. Because I just clean these brushes, I always find I have to use more the first time. Do any of you get that as well? Just me? I just like to be sure to be able to take it down my neck. And yes, I know I've got a choker on already, which is probably something I shouldn't have done. But at the same time, I've just painted my nails and I wanted to be sure that I could actually put on jewellery. Now we're moving on to concealer. So this is by Adorn Cosmetics and it's the Cover Correction Mineral Concealer in the color Light. And for this, I'm using my Pointed Foundation Brush by Real Techniques. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit of that just underneath my eyes to try and cancel out these under eye bags. I have actually noticed that Dawn Cosmetics have come out with an under eye corrector and oh my gosh, I am going to get that on my next shop because that looks amazing to me because I love this concealer. You guys know the next step. This is by e.l.f. and it's their duo pen. Uh, well, pen I say. This is for under eye concealer, so it's the concealer and then the brightener. And we all know that highlighter trick with this end, but for now, we just need to sort this out. And I'm just going to flip over my pointed foundation brush and use the other end to just do this little part here. Patting this on under my eyes. So now I'm just going to let my face set whilst we work on our eyes and try and do something about these. To begin with, I like to use my e.l.f. eyelid primer. So this is the mineral primer and it's in the shade Sheer. I actually find that this rivals Urban Decay. You know, that super famous purple bottle that everybody loves. This works just as well and it's, I don't know, an eighth of the price and also no animals were harmed so that's super win for me. And now we're moving on to eyebrows. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Blonde. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush. Let's just say that I'm going for a more natural look with my eyebrows today and that's why I lay the look um, so shaggy. Let's just say that. You guys will know how to do eyebrows much better than me so we'll just skip over this part, shall we? Might just turn on some music. Ugh. Wait, let's do this. God no, not that song. Oh hell yeah. No, no, no. Check my flow. Ooh. Now look, I'm positive that I'm not the only one that has like those songs or those artists that help them get amped because pink has always been one of mine. I just love pink so much. Now I'm taking my Pacifica. I forgot the name of the pencil. I'm just using my Pacifica pencil that's in the shade Nude. I'll have the name on the screen somewhere. And I'm just gonna use this to help define the edges of my brows a little bit. Ooh, that looks totally natural. Going back in with that pointed foundation brush and doing a bit of a swifty swift. Just to blend it in. Looks a little bit better, that's what I said it would do. This is a gold look, right? So it would be a shame not to use some gold eyeshadows. Look, today I'm going to be using a combination of these two eyeshadow palettes. This is one I've curated myself by Makeup Geek. And this is one I actually got for free. Free? Yeah, I did get this one for free. So this is by Chi Chi, it's the Basic Instinct eyeshadow palette. But you don't have to copy everything about the movie, okay guys? Just saying. 
And I'm going in with the color Beaches and Cream and a little bit of Vanilla Bean. And I'm gonna actually just use that up here. And so for this, I'm using my Sigma E55. E55? Yep. E55 eyeshading brush by Sigma for this. Now, because we're in a bit of a rush and to make speedy work of any anyone that's in a rush, I'm using my Zoeva Soft Definer brush. And I'm going in with some creme brulee. Because we fancy like that, guys. We fancy enough. I mean, this honestly just makes fast work of anything. And look at that. Such fast work. And it blends so well. Then I'm taking some cocoa bags. We want a bit of a warm look for this. Going straight on top of that with the same makeup brush. Just trying to softly define that socket. Set my under eyes with my Chi Tea Real Minerals uh, loose powder. Just gonna dab with my Real Technique sponge. Again, it's winter and I honestly find that baking helps so, so much. So I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> now, actually, I think I'm just gonna switch palettes. I'm switching. Honestly, I'm addicted to Aphrodite. Like, it's kind of worrying, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm using my Makeup Geek round crease brush for this. Using a bit of Aphrodite. I'm really focusing on that crease. And then I'll take a clean brush and just smudge that out again. Makeup Geek. And of course, it's the defined crease brush. And this is clean, so I'm just gonna buff that all together. Taking a little bit more Cocoa Bear with this. Just gonna work over that. Ooh, yeah, that's what we're after. I'm using my Chi Chi Basic Instinct palette. And I'm gonna start off with this light gold color here. I'm gonna take that halfway across my lid. And then I'm going in with the richer color. Like, I've got to say, the pigmentation on this is, like, amazing. You've got eyes, you can see the pigmentation, so I don't need to really describe it, but I don't have to use much on my E55 Sigma brush to really pack on a big impact with this. It's pretty impressive. And now I'm going in with a darker, more antique gold shade on the outer. And now it's time to brush away this loose baking dust. Oof. Oof. Okay, so we have this part done. So I'm going to take my Adorn Cosmetics. This is the Loose Mineral SPF 15 foundation. For this, I'm using my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Just gonna sort of dust this. But for now, I'm taking that Zoeva brush again, and I'm going in with this color that's quite similar to Creme Brulee. It's going to do a very soft, diffused under eye look. It's getting as close to that lash line as possible. Now I'm going back in with that round crease brush with this darkest shade. It's actually yeah, it's sort of the darkest, warmest shade in the palette. And I'm using it all along the lash line. And now to open the eye up a little bit more, I'm using my Pacifica pencil in this nude shade and just going all along my waterline. And I'm also going to put a little bit in the tear duct here. I'm still getting used to this, so I'm going to be using it again and again to make sure I do like it. And I'll give you guys a proper review on this e.l.f. It's the Makeup Mist and Set. It's meant to be amazing. I've used it a few times. I actually find my makeup does look better with it, but I want to use it a few more times. You know? You know what I mean? I'm gonna actually take some Cocoa Bear. So taking some Cocoa Bear on my Zoeva brush. Going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Today I'm going to be using my Ardell Curvy Lashes. And my favorite lash glue is my duo lash glue. This is in the clear color, it's so good. Okay, now, lashes. Just put on a bit of mascara. <gasps> no! Oh, I've gotta wait for that mascara flick to dry now. Oh, so irritating. Oh. 
Now, anywhere that your glue has misbehaved, you can just go over with your eyeliner pen. The contour, can you guess what I'm using? You're right, it's Breakup by Makeup. For blush, I'm using Milani, and this is the color Dolce Pink. And I'm taking my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush. Brush. Blush, brush. That's surprisingly hard to say. And I like to put this color quite high on my cheekbones because it does have a bit of a shine to it. And highlighter time. The other end of our double-edged sword, I mean makeup. Now I'm taking my Chi Chi Celestial Glow. Honestly, I did not expect much from these highlighters, but I've been so pleasantly surprised. And I'm using my favorite color, which is Venus. That is a lot of a glow. I'm using my Cheek Highlighter Brush by Makeup Geek, by the way. Using my favorite lip balm, which is Hurrah, and this is the flavor, if you can call it a flavor, which is vanilla. I love it so much. I'm taking my Makeup Geek Plush Matte in the color Sucker, Sucker? Soccer Mum. <laughs> And I just find that Soccer Mom is a very, very pretty color. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I make new videos every week. Of course, all of the products I've used today are vegan and cruelty free and I'll list a link to all of the products used down below. Most of them, except for Chi Chi, are cleared by Logical Harmony and that's kind of how I gauge things, but Chi Chi is a very small brand in Australia and New Zealand, so it's a little bit different with that. <laughs> And don't forget guys, I've got an Instagram channel that I check into pretty much every single day. So it's just briniclaire underscore vegan if you want to check me out there. Love to connect with you.